Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at Octon Watches. Uh, based in Sweden, they're a micro brand that produces a lot of cool, kind of unique dive watches. And this is one of their limited edition runs of 300 pieces. This is the new Octon Black Fiskin. A uh, very Swedish name as you can see there. Obviously it's a dive watch. Uh, it's 300 meters water resistant. And I think it's a pretty decent, you know, value for what you get. Uh, this watch, I believe, sells for around $345 from their website, which I will link down in the description below if you want to check them out after this video. Like I said, this is one of their limited edition models. They do have stock standard models that you can kind of customize with different movements, bezels, and uh, a lot of cool options on their website. So definitely check it out if you dig this watch. Anyway, let's get started here. Now the Octon comes in the standard box on the bracelet, uh, which is very nice, and I'll show you in a little bit. But I just really, really, really like this nice kind of rubber strap that they included with the watch. It's textured, it's very soft and supple, and I think it really looks nice on this watch. And it is summertime, so it is a bit lighter on the uh, rubber strap, so I did throw it on this. It does have quick release bars, so it is definitely really easy to change out. Anyway, the case itself is a solid 316L stainless steel, pretty much the industry standard here. We do get drilled lug holes, brushed sides, a nice signed crown there, as you can see. Uh, there's a little polished chamfer on top of the 22 millimeter lugs, uh, which is pretty nice there. A nice little touch there, but the brushing is definitely very good. It is also brushed on top of the lugs as well. Um, pretty decent case build and case cut in my opinion. There are no sharp edges or anything like that. The case itself is 300 meters water resistant with a screw down crown and a screw down case back. So definitely a true dive watch if you want to call it that. Uh, the watch itself in diameter is 40 millimeters across, just what most people really want these days. It is 12 millimeters thick. Uh, which is, you know, pretty average or, you know, it's not that thick. I think, I think 12 millimeters is just fine for a 40 millimeter, 300 meter dive watch. Um, so the dial itself. So this is the black kind of grainy dial, as you can see here. Um, it is printed with Octon right below 12, as you can see there, um, which is pretty cool. I think their logo is quite unique and uh, definitely goes with the whole theme of their watches. Uh, this watch does feature that lightning uh, sweeping seconds hand, which is kind of seen on the Rolex Milgauss, uh, which is pretty cool. It's uh, in polished silver. The hands kind of get a paddle hour hand, kind of like a vintage style in my opinion. And then a pretty straightforward sword uh, minutes hand there. We get a white date disc, uh, which matches nicely with the white printing on the dial. The markers for the hours are applied and filled with loom. The loom is really good on this watch. And I will show you the loom towards the end of the video. It's actually really good. And I was quite surprised by their loom. Anyway, it does state Black Fiskin right here in red, which I thought was nice on this black dial. If I can get you in a little closer, you can see the Black Fiskin there. There you go. So the markers are applied themselves there, as you can see. And everything is pretty neat. There are no quality control issues on this model. Everything is uh, pretty kosher on this model. Anyway, um, some other stuff about this watch. The crystal itself is a domed sapphire crystal. Uh, you know, complete with anti-reflective coating as well. So there's really not any glare as you can see the light is on it right now and you can perfectly read the time. Anyway, the bezel is 120 clicks and it does line up perfectly to that 12 o'clock position, which most people have problems with with watch brands such as Seiko and such, uh, some other brands as well, but definitely does line up to the 12 o'clock position there. We do also get a very nice coin edge on the side of the bezel for grip there. Uh, which really makes it a pleasure to turn. The bezel action itself is rather smooth and pretty good with very minimal back play there. And yeah, it's pretty easy to use. I have no issue with the bezel action on this model. And as you can see, everything does line up perfectly to that 12 o'clock position. Now flipping over to the case back, uh, which is pretty cool. You do get a glimpse of these quick release straps that they supply with the watch. You can really see the design here on the screw down case back of the black fiskin design, automatic stainless steel. Uh, they do state the movement 300 meters, sapphire crystal, pretty straightforward case back. I think the design with this kind of sea creature guy is pretty cool here. Uh, yeah, just a nice little design there. Now inside of this watch is the Seiko NH35 uh, automatic caliber. We do get a quick set date. We do get hacking, hand winding, 24 joules, beats at three hertz, uh, pop it out. Crown is very easy to use. Uh, very easy to grip as well, so no issues there. This is, does not feature crown guards. It's kind of styled in a vintage style, as you can see the 12, uh, 6, and 9 there. 
in the hands as well. Kind of like a vintage kind of a, maybe some Omega styling in there. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much its own thing there. If you get self-winding in the first position, which is pretty smooth there, even though the watch is running already. Then we can flip to the date here. And then our final position is our hacking position, and we can set the time there. Go ahead and push that back in, and screw the crown down. Now, like I stated, this is the rubber strap that came with the watch um, also. So it comes with the bracelet and the rubber strap. But this rubber strap is actually really nice with this white contrast stitching, which really matches this uh, bezel here. Now, the bezel insert is aluminum on this model. Uh, it's not ceramic, in case you want to know that. Now, we do get two keepers here, then a signed uh, brushed stainless steel Octon custom buckle there. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. I just think it looks really nice on this uh, rubber strap. Everything just kind of matches up with the black and white there. It definitely looks pretty nice. I will show you the bracelet right now. The watch does come in this really cool kind of uh, hard box here. With a little clip here, as you can see. Then it pops right open. Now this is the Octon bracelet, and it's actually a very, very nice bracelet. It features full articulating links, as you can see here, double-sided screws. Uh, we get a custom Octon clasp here, which comes open right here, as you can see. Uh, there we go. Opens up to a nice milled clasp, as you can see, solid stainless steel. We get one, two, three, four micro adjustments. Very secure. Uh, I think the bracelet is pretty nice. We get solid end links as well. And uh, it's very nice. Uh, it's very, very nicely cut, as you can see here. And as you see, those links do articulate. They're very nice, very smooth. And I think it's a nice little design there. Uh, but I definitely do prefer this model on that, like uh, like I said, on the rubber strap. Because it just kind of you know feels right with those colors. But I definitely will throw it on the bracelet in the future. And here's a nice loom shot for you guys. As you can see, everything is lit up from the 12 o'clock pip, the 12.69, the hands, and all the applied markers. As you can see there, I believe I did state it, there was a loomed bezel. I'm sorry, not on this model. I was thinking of the other model. Uh, this new Black Fisky model just has loom on the actual dial. But as you can see, it is some type of C3 Super Luminova, and it is quite strong and potent. I only held the flashlight over for about, about you know, 5 to 10 seconds, and it seems to be glowing pretty good. There is the black fiskin on my 6.5 inch wrist. And as you can see, it fits very comfortably on this nice rubber strap or silicone strap supplied with the watch. The watch itself is pretty comfortable on the wrist. It rides quite flat on the wrist and curves nicely with those lugs there. And yeah, no issue. Definitely have some good grip there on the bezel. So that's nice to see. But yeah, overall fits my wrist nicely, perfectly across. You can see there my wrist is 6.5 inches. And yeah, nice fit, very comfortable on the strap. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new Octon Black Fiskin. I think it's a pretty cool and unique dive watch. I like the kind of mix of, you know, different cues, also design cues from some different brands. It's kind of a little Omega-ish on the dial while you have that Milgau-styled hand. I think it's pretty cool. Then the case shape is just basically, you know, their own case. Um, but yeah, definitely a very well-machined watch, a very well-made watch. I think it's a pretty cool brand, and um, yeah, I wonder what they have to produce in the future. They'll come out with some new cool designs as well. I, I believe I've already heard they're coming out with something new in a few months, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. But yeah, I didn't find any quality control issues or anything like that. Um, everything came out pretty good on these models, so I'm happy to see that. And yeah, just a very cool micro brand based out of Sweden. Let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below as usual, and I will talk to you down there. Definitely subscribe to the channel, hit that little red icon down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, and I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks so much for tuning in once again. Bye.